Breaking news. 20 billion bail out fund scandal. Kogi governor finally replies EFCC says will provide evidence later. Hello my wonderful people. Your very own Kogi governor. We're talking about Yahaya Bello. He wants to run for presidency. Yes, so told Nigerians that they should give him uh, 365 days and he would turn Nigeria you know, inside out to become the beautiful Nigeria that they've all desire and want. Guess what? <laughs> the guy, not if he construct one bridge for his, for his state, make the bridge stand still and do well. This same guy took money that belongs to pe people, workers, okay, in the state, people that have worked, parents that have gone to work Monday to Friday, leaving their children as young as a year old child, to go and work so they can make money, you know, and look after their family. Guess what? These are the very same people. This man kept their money in what we call, you know, savings so that the money can yield interest for him and the worker salaries will be delayed. Can you imagine that? Then the worker salaries will be delayed. This is what this man have done. And EFCC has, blow, has you know, blew the trumpet for everyone to know that like Yahaya Bello is a fraudulent person. And he wants to contest for 2023. Anyway, well, um, the matter is out and uh, he's now replying. Let's get all the details. The EFCC has er earlier accused Kogi State Governor of keeping about 20 billion bailout fund meant to pay workers in the states in a commercial bank in order to yield interest for him. This has not gone well. A day after the anti grief agency EFCC provide, provided evidence that 19.3 billion, which the Kogi state government allegedly hid in a commercial bank, has been returned to the Central Bank of Nigeria. Now, the workers has not been paid. They have returned the money. Since he hid the money, they've returned the money. This was what he was banking on to carry out campaign. Now the worker salaries are being heard and the money, oh God, let's continue. The money has been returned to the Central Bank of Nigeria. The Kogi governor, government has denied the claim. However, rather than provide evidence to back his substance, the Kogi governor said it will provide a comprehensive response to what he called the desperate move by the commission. The EFCC has earlier accused the Kogi state governor of keeping about 20 billion bailout fund meant to pay workers salaries in a commercial bank in order to yield interest for him. The Kogi governor has denied the allegation but has was not been able to prov provide any evidence. Primetime reports now says the EFCC has released a statement announcing that the money has now been transferred back to the Central Bank of Nigeria. Money meant to pay teachers. Teachers has not yet been, I mean workers. Workers have not yet been paid. Citing a letter by the CBN dated, dated November the 9th, the EFCC said the Central Bank informed the EFCC chairman, Abdul Rashid Bawa, of, the, of acknowledging the receipt of the money received. The commission said the receipt of the money by the CBN has eventually put to rest a smash comparison of campaign of misinformation and unconstituted denier by the Kogi state governor that no fund was recovered for a bailout account which he aid. The transfer has put pay to any, the transfer has put pay to any further controversies regarding sources and ownership of funds abandoned in places and in banks. So this is not even abroad. Though. This is even in Nigeria. This is not abroad. You know, this is not far away somewhere in the in, in the overseas. This is in Nigeria here. So Kogi state governor is trying to uh, make, you know, say, you know, that, um, yeah, he wants to talk. He wants to explain. Remember, he's going for presidency. So he's trying to make people feel or say blah, blah, blah. But even the words he's saying are not coming out right. Kogi governor. Eh? Yahaya Bello. This is how they deceive us. But, you know, I will explain to you. This guy was being insultive to Tinubu. 
So I, I don't know if there is any link with that, but just putting that there so you can know that something like that is happening and uh, people are really watching. Everybody's really watching and seeing all these things happening. You know, it says, well, uh, Tinubu, blah, 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 blah. And this, that, 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 my dear, this is the matter we are, this is what we are really seeing before our very own eyes. Okay. You will be surprised. You'll be thoroughly shocked. You'll be thoroughly shocked with all these things that are going on. You'll be surprised. So, my dear, this is what is happening. Um, EFCC has challenged him to come out and tell Nigerians the truth. You know, you should tell Nigerians the truth of all those things going on. You should tell Nigerians the truth. I mean, the guy said he would provide evidences later. And this is the guy that wants to be Nigerian's president. He has asked Nigerians to give him 365 days that his security will end. I mean, where, 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 do, where, do, where do we draw the line? The lies. Where do we draw the line? Where? With all the lies and all that is going on, where exactly do we draw the line? So you look at it and you understand exactly what these politicians are. Bunch of liars. Okay? Again and again I say to you, bunch of liars. They just, they lie without even thinking about it. Oh, you don't understand. They are not even giving thought to what they are saying. They just say it as it is. They don't even consider, they don't even think about it. They just say it like that. They lie without even thinking about it. You want to help Nigerians. You want to do this. You want. Have you been able to help yourself? Have you been able to help yourself? You have one state. What have you done for Kogis? That Kogis will begin to tell the whole of Nigeria, I think we should give this man a try. This man, I think we should give him a try. You know, I think we should give this man a try because if he becomes Nigerian's president, we will, I mean, what he has been doing in Kogi State, we just want you guys to, I mean, give him four years and see. Is that not what the, 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 the is that not what the matter should be? But guess what? Can Kogi people open their mouths and really vouch? You know, and really vouch for him? Can Kogi people vouch for him? Can they? Can Kogi people vouch for that? So who are we deceiving? He wants to rule Nigeria. Who are we deceiving? Who? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Bye.